Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of a horror thriller films from 2014, titled Honeymoon. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. As the film opens, we see a husband named Paul, and his wife, B, talking on their wedding video. After settling down, they go on to talk about how they met and how Paul proposed to her when they were at a restaurant. It was when B got sick and they had to come back home, Paul then proposed to her there, to which she of course said yes. After their wedding, they go to a forest where they are going to be staying in a rustic cabin for their honeymoon. This cabin belongs to B's family, and it is in a secluded Canadian forest. As they get there, B starts to show him around the cabin, and everything in there is either worn out or too old. We also see a bear skin hanging on the wall, and it turns out that B's father loved hunting. As the night falls, they start to get intimate and as they cuddle on the bed, Paul asks her about the ducks in their room, to which B tells him that they're all fake and hollow on the inside. She then goes on to tell him about her special honeymoon gown. Later that night, while they are both sleeping, we see a mysterious light shedding right on their faces. The next morning after breakfast, Paul again goes to that bare skin as he seems obsessed and fascinated by it. Paul then asks B about her father and his hunting, and B jokingly tells him that she used to kill fish and frogs with her bare hands, and she used to do it because she liked it. In the next scene, they are in a boat, and it turns out that Paul is really scared of the water. B, on the other hand, doesn't feel the same way about water and she decides to go for a swim. However, the lake's water is too cold, so the couple decides against it. That day, they go to a restaurant where we see no one but one man who seems really frustrated and tells them that the restaurant is closed, and goes on to break his lamp out of frustration as the lights start to flicker. When Paul and B are about to leave, it turns out that the man knows B, and that he is her childhood friend named Will. B recognizes him and she is really excited to see a friend, so they start talking about their childhood. Will tells her that the restaurant belongs to his wife, Annie's family, but he is the one who has been in charge of everything. After that, Annie shows up and tells both Paul and B to get out of there. Will then calms her down by force, and goes on to tell the couple that his wife has been a little unwell. Can't believe you're here. There's that smile. When they are in bed at night, B cannot stop thinking about Annie and her condition. Paul tries to lighten up her mood and says that they might be having problems, but it does not seem to work. The two then go to sleep, and after a while, the lights inside the house starts flickering, and Paul's alarm begins to ring. Paul plans to go fishing that morning. But as he gets ready and steps outside, he sees that it is still really dark outside and the sunrise is still hours away. He believes his alarm clock is broken and it goes off earlier than it should. Paul then notices that B is not in her bed, so he looks around in the cabin for her, but she is nowhere to be found. As he walks into the kitchen, he notices that the back door is not properly shut, so he goes out of the cabin to look for his wife. This isn't funny! Shortly after, Paul hears something moving in the forest, soon finds himself deep into the forest in the dead of the night. He eventually finds his wife naked and unconscious, and when he touches her, <coughs> Paul right away takes her home, and helps her gain some consciousness. The husband is now really freaked out, and he asks B how she ended up there in the forest. B tells him that she might have been sleepwalking and that she is perfectly fine. She keeps assuring him that nothing bad has happened when Paul does not seem satisfied with her reassurances. The next morning, B makes him breakfast, and Paul notices B being a little clumsy as she burns the bread. Paul again asks her what's going on with her, and she tells him the same thing, she is fine. Seeing the wife's condition, the husband says that she should see a doctor, but B refuses. Paul then goes on to take his coffee, and sees that she has not even made that right. He is really weirded out by everything, because he knows that B has never forgotten to batter the bread and never been a clumsy person. They then go to the river and Paul catches a frog, and starts to have fun with it. This big fatty one is gonna be our dinner. I'll, I'll... But Paul sees that B has been watching him, and not been giving any kind of reaction, and that also freaks him out given the fact that B always makes fun of frogs, plus, she is a very lively person. B then goes on to swim in the cold water and that is also out of sorts for Paul, because B always stays away from the cold water. When they get back to their cabin, Paul again checks in with her, and she tells him that she has just been tired and that she is going to be fine soon enough. 
As they are making out, Paul notices some marks on her thighs, and B starts to hide them from him. Upon being asked, she tells him they must be mosquito bites. B then tells him that she is going to take a nap, leaving Paul perplexed. Paul then goes to the same area where he found B last night. There, he finds her nightgown, and as he touches it, he sees an unusual liquid thing on the gown. Paul notices that there is more than one footprint in the area, and he understands that she was not alone. When Paul gets home, he finds B in front of the mirror as she talks to herself. She is practicing different things she should speak in different situations. I took some Tylenol, but this headache will go away. Paul now starts to observe B all the time, and comes to the conclusion that there is definitely something wrong with her. When Paul tries to get romantic with her, she goes on to stop him and says the same thing she was practicing in front of the mirror as she tells him that she has a headache. Paul is again weirded out and asks her if something happened that night, but she tells him that she was doing nothing but sleepwalking. Paul, however, is still suspicious since B doesn't have a history of sleepwalking. As they continue to make out, the husband asks her to wear her honeymoon gown, but she tells him that she has put it away for laundry. After hearing all of this, Paul is now really worried because he feels like he is living with a totally different person. In the middle of the night, when Paul is unable to sleep, he sees that B again goes out of the room. When she gets back, he asks her where she went and she tells him that she just went to drink some water. Paul cross-questions her as he asks her about her glass and B does not have an answer, which of course because she doesn't have a glass with her. They then go on to sleep and we see a light coming inside the cabin again. This time, Paul notices that light. He takes his gun, and goes out to check what is wrong outside. He sees someone standing in the woods, but the figure disappears the moment Paul spots him. Paul quickly follows that person or whatever it was, but it is nowhere to be found. In order to scare it away, Paul fires a gunshot as well. In the meantime, B goes to the balcony to check where that gunshot came from. The husband gets home and starts to shut down all the doors and the windows of the cabin. He then tells her that there was someone outside and that he is going to follow that person. B however tells him that he must have been mistaken, and that there was no one outside. Frustrated, Paul goes on to confront her as he asks her if there was someone else with her in the woods that night. But B keeps telling him the same thing as she goes on to say that there was no one else out there. The husband suspects that Will was with B that night, and goes on to show her the nightgown. Paul asks her why has she been lying to him about that night, and the wife tells him that she was sleepwalking so she does not remember anything. They get into this huge argument, and Paul tells her that he just wants to protect her, but B tells him that he is overreacting and he is ruining their special time. That night, they sleep in separate rooms, and both of them are extremely worried and weirded out. The next morning, when Paul wakes up, he finds B writing about herself where she writes her name, her age, her address and her husband's name. Paul asks her what she is writing about, and she hides the diary telling him it's nothing. The husband is now really upset with her since she's being different than before. His wife tries to talk to him but he stops being too responsive. He then asks her about those marks on her thigh, and she tells him that it is healed now but Paul notices that they have gotten worse. According to him, they do not seem like any bug bites and rather than getting better, they have gotten worse. That day, as they are on a boat on the river, Paul tells her that they should go home as he feels something is wrong with this place. B refuses, saying that she is having a good time and that she wants to stay. They then start making out and as they are about to move forward, B starts to bleed. When they get back to the cabin, Paul tells her that she should definitely see a doctor and she says that it is nothing, she is just menstruating. Paul, however, knows that it is not her time of the month yet. He now decides that he is going to confront Will as he has been behind everything. Paul goes there and sees Annie outside the restaurant. Annie exhibits similar behavior to B, and even bears identical marks on her thighs. She also claims that Will is hiding and again warns Paul to stay away before departing. Paul then finds Will's bloody baseball hat floating in the water. Afterwards, he decides to enter their home and notices a camera in there. He then tries to switch on the lights but they start to flicker. During his search, he finds several pages of notes describing basic details about Annie, including her and Will's names, along with security camera footage of Annie following the bright lights into the woods. Paul even notices the same liquid on Annie's notes that was on B's gown that night. 
As Paul gets out of there, we see a shadow watching him. He goes back home and starts to read B's diary. At this point, he discovers that B has taken similar notes and accuses her of being someone else. Paul then asks her what is going on with her and Annie, why both of them wake up and go out in the middle of the night, leading him to believe that it is really Will's doing. B tells him that she just wants to protect him, and afterwards, Paul starts looking for car keys in anger. B on the other hand, locks herself in the bathroom, and when Paul breaks and he finds her repeatedly stabbing herself in the genitals with a toilet bowl cleaner. Paul is eventually forced to tie her to the bed. He then interrogates her about details of their relationship, most of which she either misremembers or has forgotten. Sensing something is moving within her body, B puts Paul's hand into her vagina, and has him remove a large worm-like creature. It is at this point that B explains that the night she disappeared into the woods, she saw the same lights Paul had seen, and walked to them. She then encountered a group of silhouetted figures, who impregnated her with the creature. Plus, the wife claims that she is herself, but that the figures are taking away what is left of her. After learning the truth, Paul scrambles to find their car keys, but she insists that they cannot leave and invites him to watch their wedding video. A beam of light suddenly appears again, and B says she needs to keep Paul hidden from them. Right when she knocks him out. We then move to the next scene where she takes him into the middle of the lake on a boat, fastening an anchor to his legs. The husband awakens, with B explaining that she is protecting him from the figures, by hiding him under the water. Hearing this nonsense, Paul tries to escape, but it is already too late. No, 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 no. Yes. You can't... no, you don't understand. You're confused. No, no. Stop it. This isn't hiding. No. Following her husband's vanishing, B is shown to be deteriorating with her skin peeling off. She is watching her and Paul's wedding video, and shortly after, the mysterious light appears. B is met by a similarly deteriorated Annie, and they walk into the lights together. And this is where the movie ends. Okay guys. That's all the recap of Honeymoon 2014. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.